With all the snow on the way and the problems it causes, Governor Walls calling a peacetime emergency. He authorized the Minnesota National Guard to provide relief and assistance on the roads if necessary. Joining us now, Army Colonel Scott Roweeder, the state's National Guard Director of Operation. Colonel, thanks for joining us. What type of services do Minnesota National Guard members provide during weather like this to other Minnesotans? Well, thanks for having me on, Randy. Uh, the Minnesota National Guard typically provides services such as warming shelters, utilizing our armory locations at our 58 different facilities within the Minnesota National Guard. Uh, and that's for any stranded motorists or if they close down interstates or local highways uh, and they have to get off the roads, it provides them some shelter until they can get back on the roads. Additionally, uh, we have 17 different locations where we have small unit support vehicles or what we call SUSVs which are small tracked vehicles that are capable of carrying 10 to 15 personnel. And we'll dispatch those at the request of a county sheriff to go out and support stranded motorists uh, that might not be able to get their vehicle to, off the highway to one of those warming shelters. And so we will go out, pick them up and bring them back to an armory location until the storm subsides and then get back to their vehicles and get back on the road. So Colonel, we're uh, about three hours into this second phase of the storm. It's a little after 4.30 in the afternoon. Have you seen uh, any areas where you may need to respond? Currently right now from the briefings that we've been in with Homeland Security Emergency Management uh, and, and Minnesota Department of Transportation, uh, we're seeing some snow activity that could shut down some roads that are out west. Uh, and then as it progresses further into Minnesota, uh, we could see more uh, road closures. And if we do, we're here to support for that. Uh, typically, in most of the operations that we've supported in the past, it's been around the I-90 corridor and out west uh, around Highway 7 by the Olivia area where we have the most support and we've provided that in the past. But uh, we're again, we're prepared to support uh, throughout the state of Minnesota if needed. And do you actually go with military vehicles and pick people up if they've been stranded along the highway or something? I mean, what exactly do you end up doing? So what will happen is we'll get a request in from the county sheriff uh, and then we will notify those units at the local armories that, that are closest to that vehicle where it's stranded. And again, this vehicle is a, it's a tracked vehicle uh, that is capable of carrying 10 to 15 personnel in it. So it will dispatch from the armory, move out to that, that car location, uh, pick up the stranded motorists and then bring them back to the armory for shelter. All right, well, Army Colonel Scott Roweeder, State's National Guard Director of Operations. Colonel, we appreciate you joining us this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, Randy. I'll bet.